All right, let's talk about fonts on the web. So if you're like me before, if you wanna have a good looking website with some nice fonts, what I would do before is go to Google Fonts and then copy and paste a whole bunch of nice fonts from there onto my website. Now that works, but the problem with that is it just makes your website slower by loading in a bunch of external resources or web fonts that you don't really need. And the size of these web fonts can really stack up quickly. Like I had a client send me a mock-up for a design and between different font weights, italics, heading fonts, there were like seven different fonts that I, need, I needed to import into the page, which is a lot of extra network requests that you don't really need to make. Now, I understand why web fonts got popular. 15 or 20 years ago, pretty much 100% of the web was using Times New Roman or Arial, and it did not look great. And back then, there were just not a lot of great system fonts pre-installed on your machine. But now that's changed. If you have a Mac computer or an iPhone, the default font on those looks really great. And Windows and Android and all these other different operating systems now have really great fonts on them by default. So the need to import all these different web fonts is not as much there anymore. So instead of importing a whole bunch of different font weights of Open Sans from Google Fonts, you can just use all of the font weights that are there by default on any operating system now. And besides just saving performance on your websites, it also helps to make your website feel more native. So if you're making a web app and you want to make it look as native as possible, like it's really baked into the operating system, then using the default fonts from that operating system is going to make it look a lot better and a lot less jarring to your users. Now I understand if you want to have a brand font for your websites and make it look consistent, but you don't really need that as much as you think you do, especially for blog posts or user interfaces or anything with a lot of text. It doesn't need to be that fancy. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. So just using these system-wide fonts will cover most of your use cases. And if you want to give your website a little bit more character, maybe you can make the heading fonts a bit more interesting. But honestly, for most of my websites, I just use the system fonts now because I don't really see the need in importing a whole bunch of fonts for no reason. Now, it's not exactly as simple as just putting in serif or sans serif. So I like to copy and paste from this website called System Font Stack. And it just has a, a long list of all the good looking fonts that are pre-installed on a lot of popular operating systems. So this Apple system and Blink Mac system font is the default for Mac OS and iOS, which is San the San Francisco font, which looks really good. And uh, this Droid Serif is for Android, I believe. And this Sego UI is for Windows, which is another good looking font. And of course it has emojis in here, in case you want to use emojis, that'll also display in the system in the system wide emoji font. So the idea of this is it goes down the stack until it finds a font that's installed in your system. So if you're not running a Mac computer, it'll skip over these uh, and it'll basically pick the, the first one that it finds on your system. So worst case scenario, it'll go all the way down here to sans serif. It can't find anything. But if the default sans serif font on your system still looks good, which chances are it does, then it'll look fine. So just with a basic website like this, I can make it look really nice just using these system fonts. So I'm not actually on Mac OS or Windows or Android or anything like these. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on a non-standard operating system, but I still get some really nice fonts. Like it's using Liberation Serif for the Serif font, Liberation Mono for the Mono Space, and we're using Nimbus Sans for the Sans Serif, which I don't really know, but it looks good to me. So that's a very easy performance gain that you can make with your websites with very little downside in my opinion. So if you want to make your website a bit faster but still look good, then you can use these system font stacks from this website here. Just copy and paste these and if you don't want to copy and paste this every time that you need it, save it to a CSS variable or something and then you can use it as much as you want. That's what I would do. And as you can see, I think it looks pretty good. So give it a try for your next project.